Welcome to IchiCraft Boards, your personalized digital workplace. Discover in this video how we streamline your workday by consolidating all the tools and resources you need into a single, user-friendly dashboard. We'll start by exploring how we introduce new users to our platform. Let's dive in. When you first launch IchiCraft Boards, the welcome screens shows you the board templates configured for your role. You can choose which template best fits your needs. Let's select the company hub. After you select the company hub template, we show you a preview of the board to help you pick the right one. When you click on Let's Get Started, your personal board is created. Here is your board. To get you started, we explain the basics using teaching bubbles. The first tip is how you can add new widgets or boards using the plus icon in the top right corner. Let's see what else we can learn. Here's the next tip. Simply grab the header of a widget and drag and drop it to your preferred location on the board. Another useful tip, resize certain widgets to suit your needs. Grab a corner and adjust the proportions as you like. Next tip, some widgets are configurable. Take the news widget for instance. You can customize it by selecting your preferred news sources. Final tip, Dive into more options by clicking on the dots in the widget header, including the ability to access instructions for a widget. You've completed the fundamental guide on using IchiCraft boards, and now you're ready to dive into your new personalized digital workplace. Over the next few minutes, let's explore some additional aspects in more detail. Now that your board has taken shape from your organization's template, it awaits your personalization. Our journey begins with a closer look at the App Launcher. The App Launcher widget offers convenient access to your daily use apps. Hovering over an app enables you to explore additional details or open a dialog for more information. Now, let's see how this looks in action. Within this dialog, application owners have the opportunity to publish additional information about the app. This could include a slide deck with instructions or even a video demonstration. Let's close this dialog and delve into other features of the App Launcher widget. Tailor your App Launcher to suit your preferences by opening the widget configuration panel. In the widget configuration panel, you have the ability to add, remove, reorder, and group applications. Let's proceed to remove an app that you're permitted to take off from your app launcher. Additionally, you have the option to add apps from the list of available applications. You also have the flexibility to rearrange the order of selected apps. Now, let's ensure your changes are saved. Here you go. Your adjustments to the app launcher have been applied directly and will be ready the next time you open your personal board. Next to personal boards, we've got shared boards. These are collective dashboards crafted for sharing information. Perfect for teams or entire organizations to stay connected and informed. Join us as we delve into examples of different shared boards. In the left navigation, you can access your additional boards. Let's open a shared board called the News Hub. On this shared board called News Hub, you can see news coming from various sources, such as the latest YouTube videos or a new podcast episode. Now, let's explore another shared board named Getting Things Done. The Getting Things Done board is a great example of a shared board that gathers all your important productivity tools for focused and efficient work. It gives you access to your tasks, upcoming meetings, a scratch pad to take some quick notes, and your recent modified documents. To add another shared board to your navigation menu, simply navigate to the My Boards menu on the left. As soon as you open the board library panel, you'll get a direct overview of all the shared boards available for you to add. The HR report board has been added in preview mode. If you plan to access this board regularly, you can pin it to your navigation for quick and easy access. 
This HR report showcases our integration with Power BI. It's a fantastic way to access all the relevant reports conveniently consolidated into one board. Once you've pinned the board, feel free to rearrange the order to suit your preferences. Now let's shift gears and delve into the next topic, branding. With Ichicraft boards, you can easily apply your branding, creating a unified look that resonates with your organization's values and culture. We'll show you how easily you can apply your corporate identity. Let's open the board administration. From here, you can access all possible admin configuration options. The branding options can be accessed through the design menu option. Let's start by changing the logo. You can upload one or select one from a SharePoint document library. Let's select this logo. Furthermore, we have the option to modify the background image. Let's go ahead and choose a different image. Additionally, you have the flexibility to adjust the placement of the background image and fine-tune which portion of the image remains visible. Initially, the SharePoint or Teams theme is in place, but you also have the flexibility to take control and pick your own set of colors. Now, let's switch up the primary color. Now we can preview or save the changes and see how it all looks. A quick look reveals the outcome we've achieved by integrating the branding elements with minimal effort. Now let's bring this video to a close. While you've had a sneak peek at Ichicraft boards in this overview, there's a wealth of exploration awaiting you. Curious to learn more about Ichicraft boards? Feel free to reach out or visit our website for a detailed overview. Looking forward to connecting with you soon.